The universe stretches out before us, an endless canvas of mystery and marvel, a boundless expanse that has tugged to human curiosity since the first eyes turned skyward. Picture yourself standing beneath a night sky, stars scattered like diamonds across a velvet void. Each pinprick of light tells a story billions of years old, a tale of creation, destruction, and rebirth. The cosmos isn't just a place, it's a process, a relentless unfolding of wonders that challenges everything we think we know. From the moment Edwin Hubble peered through his telescope in 1929 and saw galaxies drifting apart, we've known the universe is alive, growing, stretching space-time itself in a cosmic dance that defies comprehension. This isn't a static backdrop. It's a dynamic, ever-changing realm where the impossible becomes real. Let's zoom in on one star, a celestial giant that embodies the universe's raw power and enigma, Betelgeuse. In the constellation Orion, this red supergiant looms, a titan so massive that if it sat where our sun does, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, reaching past Jupiter's orbit. Over 640 light-years away, its light takes centuries to reach us. When you gaze at Betelgeuse, you're seeing a snapshot from the days of the Renaissance, a time when humanity was just beginning to map the stars. Imagine that distance. Even at light speed, a journey to Betelgeuse would take 640 years. With our fastest spacecraft? Millions of years. It's a scale that humbles us, reminding us how small we are in the grand cosmic tapestry. Betelgeuse isn't just big, it's a cosmic rebel, living fast and dying young. Unlike our sun, a steady burner that'll shine for billions of years, red supergiants like Betelgeuse are reckless. They burn through their fuel at a ferocious pace, fusing hydrogen into helium, then helium into carbon, oxygen, and heavier elements in a nuclear frenzy. This star is in its final act, a phase where stability gives way to chaos. It's already exhausted its hydrogen core, and now it's forging heavier elements, each fusion cycle bringing it closer to its explosive end. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, and it will, it'll be a spectacle like nothing else, outshining entire galaxies for a fleeting moment, visible even in broad daylight. The universe has a way of surprising U.S., and Betelgeuse is no exception. Between late 2019 and early 2020, something extraordinary happened. The star dimmed dramatically, so much that even casual stargazers noticed. Dubbed the Great Dimming, it sparked a global frenzy. Was Betelgeuse about to blow? Astronomers scrambled to their telescopes, hearts racing with the possibility of witnessing a supernova in our lifetime. Theories flew, some thought it was the star's death throes, others suspected something less cataclysmic. After months of study, the truth emerged. Betelgeuse had ejected a massive cloud of material, gas and dust that cooled and blocked its light from Earth. Not a supernova, but a cosmic sneeze, a reminder of how unpredictable this star is. This wasn't a one-off. Betelgeuse is a pulsating variable star, its brightness ebbing and flowing like a cosmic heartbeat. Its outer layers expand and contract in cycles, some short, around 185 days, others stretching over 2,300 days. When it expands, its surface cools and dims. When it contracts, it heats up and blazes brighter. These pulsations aren't just quirks, they're driven by the star's internal chaos. Deep within, convection currents churn, carrying energy from the core to the surface. These currents create bright spots, like solar flares on steroids, adding to Betelgeuse's erratic glow. It's a star that refuses to sit still, a living, breathing enigma. Let's step back and consider what makes Betelgeuse so special. It's not just its size or its impending doom, it's what it tells us about the universe. Every atom in your body, from the carbon in your bones to the iron in your blood, was forged in the hearts of stars like Betelgeuse. Billions of years ago, ancient stars lived, burned, and died in supernova explosions, scattering their elements across the cosmos. Those elements drifted, coalesced, and eventually formed planets, oceans, and life. When we say we're made of stardust, it's not poetry, it's science. Betelgeuse is part of that cycle, a factory of elements that will one day seed new worlds, perhaps even new life. The star story is also a window into stellar evolution. Betelgeuse is losing mass at a staggering rate, shedding its outer layers through powerful stellar winds. These winds form a vast shell of gas and dust around the star, a cosmic cocoon that shapes its fate. As it sheds more mass, its core grows denser, setting the stage for the final collapse. When that happens, the core will implode under its own gravity, 
triggering a supernova that'll ripple across the universe. The explosion will scatter heavy elements, gold, silver, uranium, into space, enriching the interstellar medium. It's a process that's been happening for billions of years, building the raw materials for everything we see. Astronomers study Betelgeuse with every tool at their disposal. Photometry tracks its brightness, revealing patterns in its pulsations. Spectroscopy breaks down its light into a rainbow of wavelengths, telling us about its temperature, chemical makeup, and motion. Computer models simulate its inner workings, from the fusion in its core to the winds blasting off its surface. These tools paint a picture of a star in turmoil, a giant on the brink. Yet, despite all we've learned, Betelgeuse keeps its secrets. Its exact age is uncertain. Some estimate it's just 8 million years old, a blink in cosmic terms. When will it explode? It could be tomorrow, or it could be a million years from now. The universe doesn't rush for anyone. Let's talk about that supernova, because it's the main event. When Betelgeuse goes, it'll be unlike anything humanity has witnessed. For weeks, maybe months, it'll dominate the sky, a beacon brighter than the full moon. Its energy will be staggering. More than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime, released in a matter of seconds. The blast will send shockwaves through space, compressing nearby gas clouds and sparking new star formation. The remnants of Betelgeuse might collapse into a neutron star or even a black hole, a final gift to the cosmos. For those of us on Earth, it'll be a front-row seat to the universe's raw power, a reminder of how fleeting and fragile our existence is. But Betelgeuse's story isn't just about destruction. It's about creation. The elements it forges and scatters will become part of new solar systems. Planets will form from its ashes. And who knows? Maybe life will take root somewhere out there, gazing up at its own night sky, wondering about its place in the cosmos. This cycle of birth and death is the heartbeat of the universe, a process that's been churning for 13.8 billion years. Betelgeuse is just one player in this grand drama, but it's a star that captures our imagination like few others. Let's zoom out again, back to the bigger picture. The universe is more than stars and supernovae, it's a web of forces and mysteries we're only beginning to unravel. Dark matter, invisible yet shaping galaxies with its gravity. Dark energy, driving the universe's expansion faster and faster. Black holes, warping space-time itself. These are the frontiers we're exploring, and stars like Betelgeuse are our guides. They're not just pretty lights, they're laboratories, testing the laws of physics in ways we can't replicate on Earth. Every pulse, every dimming, Every gust of stellar wind teaches us something new. The cosmos also challenges us to think bigger. Why are we here? What's the purpose of it all? These questions have haunted humanity for millennia, and the universe doesn't hand out easy answers. But it does offer clues. The fact that we're made of stardust, that we're part of this vast, interconnected web, suggests a deeper unity. We're not separate from the universe. We're expressions of it. Tiny sparks of consciousness born from its fire. Betelgeuse, with its fiery heart and explosive destiny, reminds us of that connection. It's a star that's both alien and intimate, a distant giant that's part of our story. As we study Betelgeuse, we're also preparing for its final act. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory are poised to capture its supernova in unprecedented detail. When it happens, we'll learn more about stellar explosions, element formation, and the forces that shape the cosmos. But beyond the science, there's something profoundly human about this pursuit. We look at Betelgeuse not just to understand it, but to understand ourselves. Its light, traveling for centuries, carries a message. The universe is vast, but we're part of it. Our curiosity, our drive to explore, is as much a product of the cosmos as the stars themselves. So, the next time you step outside and look up, find Orion. Spot Betelgeuse, that reddish glow in the hunter's shoulder. Know that you're seeing a star on the edge, a cosmic titan counting down to its final moment. Feel the weight of its distance, the depth of its history. Let it remind you of the wonders out there, the mysteries waiting to be solved. The universe is calling, and Betelgeuse is its voice, a roaring, pulsating, stardust-forging voice that echoes across the void. Let's keep listening, keep exploring, keep chasing the secrets of the cosmos. Because in those secrets, we just might find ourselves.